Well, friends, this video explains uh, how you can get rid of this error when you're executing your tests in iPhone Simulator. So you get this error saying that uh, com dot facebook dot web driver agent keyboard is not present. User info ns localized description is equal to keyboard is not present. So what's happening here is that when you execute the script and when you're trying to send the keys, the sending key, this operation doesn't uh, work correctly. So I'll just execute this and you can observe what's happening here. What uh, we are doing is just uh, trying to add one contact in that app. So I started the execution and uh, here is my iPhone simulator. So it will open the contacts app and then try to add new contact. Notice that uh, here it's uh, not entering anything in first name and last name. You click on plus and uh, notice here it is trying to do uh, like send keys in first name and last name fields but actually it is not uh, working. It doesn't throw the error like uh, but it is just uh, throwing some exception uh, at the end of test. So you can see here there is an exception. Since it is in here, I have uh, caught that exception. Uh, the test didn't fail. But anyways, uh, we are focusing here on this particular issue. keyboard is not present so the reason why that is happening is because I'll show you manually basically the software uh, keyboard is not available there so if you go here in hardware here you go to keyboard and then you have to toggle the software keyboard but you can't do this uh, straight away what you have to do is actually you have to go to the any text field not necessarily in the same text field you can also go here let us say in search box and once you are there so you can see that even if i uh, focused uh, on that one on this search i can't see any uh, software keyboard like uh, on your actual uh, real phone the software key uh, keyboard pops up at the bottom but that's not happening and that's because this setting is uh, not correct so you have to toggle the software keyboard once you do that you can see this uh, keyboard is coming at the bottom and uh, once you see this keyboard what you can do is you can uh, run the test once again and this time around it will enter the actual values and you will not get that error as well so let us see if uh, it does it now as we have toggled the software keyboard So again, it will uh, do the same step, but this time it will not throw the error. It will actually enter the values in the field. You can see this at the bottom of this keyboard is being shown. So if keyboard is not shown here in this, your test will fail. You will get that error. But now it is happening because the software keyboard is present. It enter in first name and then it will enter in last name as well. That's it. And uh, you can see that exception is also not thrown here. If you have more questions on iPhone uh, automation, test automation, let me know through the comments. Thanks for watching this video.